So, why does your carefully designed site look like it's broken on a phone screen? And how do you fix it fast? After years of building and optimizing websites, I've seen how this one issue can tank your traffic, especially because search engines prioritize mobile friendly sites and Google looks at the mobile version of your site first, not your desktop one. Today, I'll walk you through some simple steps to make your WordPress site look clean and professional on any screen, no coding or plugins required. Okay, so I've just opened up my demo site so that we can go over how to fix any mobile responsive issues that you're seeing with your website. And the first question most of the time is, how do I view my site in mobile view? And there's one or two ways you can do this. Obviously, you can get your mobile phone out and you can visit your site and you can view all your pages and everything through your phone and make note of any of the issues that you see around the elements on the page or anything like that. And then you can jump into your dashboard. But you can also view a mobile view of your website through your WordPress dashboard as well. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So the first thing we need to do as we're on the back end of our site, we're going to need to go to the front end of our site. So all we need to do from here is just come up to the visit site button up in the top left, click on that. Now we'll see the front end of our site or what our visitors see. And from here, what we want to do is open up the WordPress customizer. To do that, click on the customize button up here. And this is the WordPress customizer right now. WP Beginner, we've done a ton of videos that show you how to use the WordPress customizer to build sites and how to customize your site and things like that. So I'm not gonna cover all the features within the customizer. I'm just gonna pick out a few key features that are tied to some issues that people see when they're viewing their site on their mobile devices. But as you'll see on this site, I currently have the Astra theme installed and we're using a demo site from starter templates as well. So depending on the theme you're using, you might see different settings within the customizer, but the responsive side of things should work really well across lots of responsive themes as well. So we're currently looking at the desktop preview of our website in the live view over here. And then we've got our customizer settings over here. To view the mobile view within the customizer, come down to the bottom on the settings here. You'll see three options, desktop, tablet, and mobile. Just click on the mobile option. And now you'll see your site in mobile view. Now, one of the number one issues that people see when they're viewing on their phone is that the text can be sometimes a little small to read. So how do we fix that? Well, it's super easy. So what we're going to do, we're going to edit the global setting for fonts so it affects a fonts across the whole site. So all we need to do is come over to the global settings here, click on that, then click on typography as it's to do with fonts. And now we'll see all our typography settings. What we want to concentrate on is our base font and heading font settings. So our base font is basically this kind of font right here. It's our general font across the site that people are going to read the content. To edit the size of that font, all, all we need to do is just click on the body font drop down. And here's the key piece of information you need to remember when editing your site for mobile view is any setting that has a little mobile icon next to it means that when you change that setting, it only affects that setting for mobile view. So it only affects that element for mobile view, which is fantastic. So you can have the font set up for one size on desktop and then a different size for mobile. And anything with a mobile icon in it will work exactly the same. And it will do the same for tablet size as well. So this is how we can start making our site more responsive on different devices, which is totally what I would recommend. So our current font size is a good size right now, but you can drag the slider back and forth to change the font size, or you can type in the font size you want right here. So anywhere between 14 and 16 is a good size. 16 is preferable. And then you can double check that on your device as well. So we'll just close this setting and then moving into the heading font settings. So the H1 font, H2 font, H3 font. The H1 font is the font up here at the top of the page, this larger font right here. So we can change the size of that as well by clicking on the drop down, looking for the setting that's got the icon next to it, font size, and then changing that to whatever we want as well. Then close that. Once you've edited one of these settings and you're happy with it, I totally recommend that you save 
any of the changes you've made in the customizer. To do that, all you need to do is click on the publish button up here, and then that's gonna save those changes. Another issue some people have is with the header up here. Sometimes the logo's too big, or they don't see this menu option, or maybe the hamburger menu is a little bit too big or too small. How do we fix those? So we can click on this button right here on the live view, and that'll take us to that header settings here on the left. And what we can see is the transparent header is currently enabled on desktop and mobile, fantastic. And if we click on the design settings for the transparent header, we can see that there's a lot of settings here we can change for mobile. So you can customize all these things just for the mobile view. So I'm just gonna go back and we're under our header settings right now. And I mentioned the logo. So we're gonna click on the site title and logo settings. And if we scroll down, we can see that the logo width is something we can change for mobile. So we can change that, make it smaller, or I think 45 is probably the biggest it'll go on this one. So we can change it to be 40. Just have to type that in. <laughs> okay, and then things like site title, you can change the visibility of that for different devices as well. The tagline for the site and the visibility for that as well. Also, the overall visibility for the logo across devices. So if you don't want to see it on a mobile for whatever reason, you can just click on the mobile icon right here underneath visibility, and that's going to make that disappear from mobile devices. I'm just going to turn that back on because I don't want to change that. And then it's going to head back and edit settings to do with the toggle button. So you can change the toggle button design as well. So you can change it to different things. You might see different settings to what I see right here. And then on the design front, you can also make the icon size bigger and smaller or the font size bigger and smaller as well. And because the toggle button is displayed on mobile in this instance, we don't need to have mobile icons for that because we're just changing the settings for that as it's only viewed on mobile anyway. Okay, so we can head back. Okay, so that's showing you some quick settings that you can change within the customizer so that you can change those settings across your website. I'm now gonna publish this to save those changes. So I click the publish button, and then I'm gonna come out the customizer by clicking the X right here or the close button. Okay, and now we're back on the front end of our site. But what if we wanna change certain elements on specific pages because they just don't fit or don't look right on mobile. Well, to do that, just come to the page or just go to the block editor for the page that you want to edit within the WordPress dashboard. We're just gonna use this home page as an example, and I'm just gonna click on edit page up here to get to the block editor for this page. And once you're in the block editor, you'll obviously see the desktop view and you wanna change this to the mobile view so that you can see everything and you can change everything to that view. To be able to do that, just click on the view option right here and then click on mobile. And now you'll see that web page in the mobile view. View You can scroll through it and see everything in one go. Obviously we can't see the header and footer in this view because we're editing the page. But I'm just gonna come down to the hero section right here. And I'm just gonna click on that and you can see it is a container block right here with an info block right inside as well. So the container block in the background, we can see there's an hero image being used for the background. Now editing blocks works exactly like editing with the customizer. You'll see over here in the settings on the right hand side there are certain settings that have a little mobile icon next to it to let you know that those settings will be saved just for the mobile view that you see right here which is fantastic. So with the container block selected if I wanted to change this image for whatever reason to a different image from mobile I can do that because there's a little icon next to it. I can also come down here and change the position. So this image was set up for desktop, but it might have been off a little bit for mobile. Well, you can choose the focal position of the image and that will only affect the mobile view. So I'll just put it back on her. We can see her properly in the mobile view. And then there's more things you can do here for like attachment. So you can do parallax effect repeating and size as well. Just moving into the actual info box block, we've got different text elements in here and a button. So if for whatever reason, the global settings that we set up in the customizer didn't quite work for this text right here, say this heading, 
we can change that as well. So for this, I'm just going to come over to style and then I'm going to go to title because this is what that is. There is the title within the info box. And then underneath typography, just click on edit typography and we can see we can change the font size for that as well. So we've got it currently got it at 48. We could bring it down and we can see that changing within the block editor there as well. So we put it at 40. That looks pretty good. And we can also change things like line height and letter spacing for that specific element. The same is with the button or the call to action. You can click on that setting right here. And then we can look for things like button padding. So sometimes buttons are a bit of a problem for people because when you're trying to click on them on mobile devices, if the button's too small, people just can't get the click and it just doesn't work properly. Or sometimes elements overlap, so other things overlap the button. So there's a couple of things we can do here. Button padding's one. As you can see, I've sent it to 22. If I reset it back to what it was, that button's quite thin. But if I wanted a bigger button for mobile, I could put 22 in all round. So 22 pixel padding all around the button. That's gonna make that button a lot bigger without affecting anything else. Also, if we find that the, the description above the button was encroaching on the button for whatever reason or getting in the way on mobile devices, we could close the button settings, come up to description, and then adjust the margin or the bottom margin for that description right there. So we could add another 20 pixels and make it 60. So it's a bit further away from things. I'm gonna change that back to what it was. Of course, you can do this for all your other things. We can add some more spacing in around this as well. So if we wanna make everything a little bit further away from the edges of the mobile device, we can have padding, margin, and things like that as well. Under the general settings, we've got things like content. So you can change the alignment of this. So if I wanted everything aligned center because I thought it looked better on mobile, we can do that and change that as well. Okay, and that looks pretty good. So we're gonna move down the screen. I'm just gonna pick another element to work with. So these card elements right here, they're all stacked upon each other, but we might find that we wanna change the spacing around them and things like that. So we come to style spacing, looking at the padding, it's got 24 all the way around it. It might not be great for mobile. We wanna, might wanna increase that. So we can do that and it'll be safe for mobile as well. And then if we come a bit further down to this image right here. So images can be changed for mobile as well. So sometimes images expand beyond the actual width of a mobile device. And then that causes horizontal scrolling, which is not exactly what you want because everything can be misaligned when someone's scrolling on the site. You want everything to stay within the mobile view. So to do that, you can click on the image. And then as you can see, image size and image dimensions is gonna be locked into the device, so to the mobile view. So we can make that image much bigger or we can make it much smaller and it will save that for mobile view. There may be some elements on the page that you wanna hide from mobile view because they're crowding the page or there's too many items on the page and you want only specific items to be viewed within mobile view. Well, for any block, what you can do is you can click on that block you can go to advanced under the settings right here, then under responsive conditions, click on that. And then you've got three options where you can hide on desktop, hide on tablet or hide on mobile. So if you want to hide any block or any content within a block from mobile view, you can click on the toggle right here and that will hide it from mobile view. Now, obviously nothing's happened right here because you can see it. This is us being in the block editor and being able to edit the design of the page. Hide on mobile view, what that'll do is just hide that block on the live page. Uncheck that, and then you can do the same for any of the other elements that you've made note on that need editing within the page. And then you can do that for every single page on your website as well, whether it's a post or page, you can do this for all of those things. And then once you're happy with the page and how it looks on this mobile preview right here, just click on the save button to save those changes. And then I'd highly recommend that you go ahead, get your phone out and double check your site on your mobile phone. It's the best way to view and test that the web page is working. Click on the buttons, click on the links, make sure everything is working and everything is loading as it should on your site.
If this video helped, hit like and subscribe. We really appreciate it. And if your site still looks off on mobile, drop your link in the comments. I'd love to check it out and give you some feedback. Remember, your mobile site isn't an afterthought. It's your first impression. I'm Ryan, this is WP Beginner, and I'll see you in the next video.